Dear colleagues and friends, ladies and gentlemen, I wish a happy International Day of the Girl to all of you. I am proud to lead an organization, the Interparliamentary Union, that places the empowerment of girls and young women high on its agenda. Their voices are key to strengthen and rejuvenate democracies and make them more legitimate, relevant, and representative. At these challenging times we are living in, we need all hands on deck. We cannot afford to exclude anyone. If you discount the voices of girls and young women, you only have half the enriching ideas you need to make the right choices for society. Dear friends, Political aspiration must be nurtured early on, so institutions must be open to young people. At the IPU, we are playing our part. Our joint call to action with the United Nations Secretary General's Youth Envoy provides a much-needed push to open parliaments to young women. Through generation equality, we are building bridges with civil society to bring the voices of girls and young women to the decision-making table. Most recently, the IPU campaign, I Say Yes to Youth in Parliament, has gained the support of 400 change makers around the globe. I count on all of you to join too. Change is possible, but not inevitable. Unprecedented access to information and technology is providing young women and girls with new means to express their aspirations and concerns. But we are also witnessing online sexism and violence, which can dissuade them from engaging in public debate. So, we must build a safe space for young women and girls to claim agency that may not be afforded to them in traditional civic spaces. Dear friends, girls in all their diversity are key drivers for change. Let's work together to ensure their meaningful participation in redefining our priorities of today and tomorrow. The Interparliamentary Union stands ready as an unwavering ally in these efforts.